Hi, and welcome to this short tutorial where I'm going to take you through and show you how to put your Google Plus reviews of customers, etc., and put those on your website. Now, this is an advantage for a couple of reasons. Of course, for customers to see uh, ch testimonials and reviews for social proof, which is important. Also, you know, it has a lot of weight with Google as well, so that's important. So, there's a couple of ways that uh, people do it and there's one particular way that you should do it and that is the correct way to do it and that's what I'm going to show you. So I've done a quick search here for Tempe Dry Cleaner and let's say that was your business for example we've got 25 reviews on there so if I click on that and I wanted to take for example a couple of these reviews of course I'm going to show the five star and four star reviews on there, all the best reviews. Let me show you how you can take these and put them on your site. Now, there are a couple of provisos there that there is a couple of things that we need to do that involve code, website code. Now, if this is something that makes you feel uneasy at all, then look, it is simple and it really is just copy and paste and follow the steps exactly as I show you. But in any case where you feel a little bit uneasy doing it, then absolutely get, uh, if you've got a webmaster or someone looking after it, it's the sort of thing that we can help people out with, then make sure you get it done. But if you have, you know, a little bit of involvement with the website in any way, shape or form, we'll be doing it in WordPress, which is very common, very simple. But as I say, you know, it, it's a very simple thing you can get someone to do for, you know, a very... Uh, you know, for not a lot of uh, money, obviously. So let's go and have a look at how to do it. All right, so what I'm going to do is just jump over to Dashboard for our little test Internet Marketing University site. And what I'm going to do here is, if we have a look up in the top left, right, so we're in my business, I want to go and have a look at my Google Plus page. Okay, so that's my page. You'll see how... I move away from the dashboard and now I'm on my actual page. Okay, so I just scroll down to the bottom here and you can see all reviews. Now here's the important thing, okay? We're not taking a snapshot of this or anything like that. What we need to do is head down here where you can see the share, little share icon there, share this review. So what I want to do now is just click on that. It'll bring up a little share feature here, or a little box here. Now. What I recommend is not adding any comments, just simply leave the review and then click the share. I've already done that, okay, so I'll show you how it comes up. But as I say, don't add any comments because all you want is simply just the review itself to be shared. Now that allows us to be able to place it on our website. That's the key right there. Once I've done that, I click on posts here and you can see right in the middle, there's the post or the review that I've shared as a post. Now, the important thing is here, look up in the top right hand corner here, you've got this little down arrow, click on that. And what we've got here is embed post. Click on embed post. Now here's the bit that I was saying that if you're not comfortable with this at all, then absolutely get a webmaster or someone to help you do it. But effectively what there are are two bits of code. Okay, so here's what I do. I copy both, open up Notepad, and then I paste those into Notepad here. Now this little bit of code here at the top needs to go into your website template, okay? So bear with me here, and then this one at the bottom here, this goes where you want the actual review to show up, so in a page or a post, for example. So let me show you exactly what I mean. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add this bit of code here to our website, our WordPress theme template. Okay, so I've copied that. Let me just go over, I'll just say done here, I've copied that. Let me go to my WordPress dashboard. Now this is just a, a test site, just a brand new site with really nothing much in there at all. I'm just using the very standard WordPress theme that comes with it, 2011 I think it is, for example. Now here's what I need to do. Come down here, click on Appearance, go down to Editor, down here at the very bottom, click on Editor. Okay, now once that opens up, now don't worry about all of the code and all of the different things you see. You don't need to understand exactly what it is. All you need to do is know exactly where 
to paste that line of text, that code in, and that's all, and then save it, and you're done. You don't need to know what it does and why it does it and everything. So over here, have a look here, we've got header, header.php, okay? So just look for header, that's all I want, click on that. Now you'll see again a whole bunch of code and that, and I'm sure if you're familiar, that's fine. If you're not, it looks like hieroglyphics. Don't worry about that. All I want you to do is to scan down. Now, depending on the theme you have too, this is the other very important thing. Because I've got the very standard WordPress theme, it's all very straightforward. Some themes, if you've got a fancy one, they may use different type of framework, as they call it. Definitely, as I say, any slight doubts, and you know, depending on how uh, you know set up your site is and and trafficked and all that type of thing. Don't mess with it. Definitely get a professional. I mean, you can get it done, as I say, very inexp inexpensively. So just get that done. But if you have something simple like this, I'll show you anyway. Now, what I'm looking for is, see this group here where it says we add some JavaScript to pages, blah, 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 all that sort of thing. That's a reference point. So I find that there. These are just comments. I go back up and I'm looking for the line that has script. Right, so this before this tag here, so this is what I'm looking for, where it's got script type. I'm not worried about what it actually means, etc. Right? Okay, so this is I've already placed it in here, but I'll take it out and I'll show you exactly what it looked like beforehand. And again, as I say, I'm just looking for this line here. I'm looking for script, etc. Again, don't fuss about what it actually means or anything. I'm just looking for that. So I put the cursor at the end of that. I press enter. And then this is where I'm pasting that bit of code. So if we go back there, have a look. It's this top bit of code. Place this tag in your head or just before your closed body tag. Don't worry about all of that. Just copy it. Go back here. Put the cursor in there. Paste it in there. That's it. That's all you need to do. Click update the file. Don't change anything. Don't miss anything out. Just have the whole lot. Put it in there. That's done. Okay? So now the next thing we need to do is we need to take that next bit of code. Now this is of course the easy bit because we just paste that into a page or a, a blog post or wherever you want to show your reviews. So for example, let me just do a quick page. So I'll go into pages and I'll just add a new page. And I will title it, say what our customers are saying about us. For example, all the nice things our great customers are saying. And again, I'll just add some text into here. Now here's an important point, okay? So pay attention to this one. See up here where I've got text and visual. I'm in the visual editor at the moment. I want to go into the text editor. So I click that tab. And now what I want you to do is just to en hit enter so that your cursor is below that line of text, okay? This is where we're going to paste. All right, so I just click on this. Grab that second bit of code, the one that says place this tag where you want the widget to render. So in other words, where you want your review to render. Okay, so I'll copy that. Come in here again, make sure you've clicked on the text tab up here. Paste in there, that's it. All right, so I'm just going to take change that to a sidebar template. Again, you know, we're not going to get into the nuts and bolts of WordPress and pages and things like that. But suffice to say, this is how you do it. And I'm going to click Publish. All right. Now, as I say, it's, it's a bare, raw site. There's really not much on it. There's no fancy stuff or anything like that. But it shows you exactly how to do it. So then what I want to do now is I want to view the page. So I tend to open those up in a new tab. And let's do that now. See what happens. And voila. Wait for that to finish rendering. And there you go. So now you can see what our customers are saying about us. Check out what our customers are saying about our services, the awesome stuff. Look at that, five stars, etc. So then it, it's up to you. So you know how to do it as far as what to do, how to get that in there. Now this is, as you can see, it's a complete widget. Now this is the proper way to do it. You know, other, if, there, if you have other, uh, you know, like screenshots or just copying it and that sort of thing and trying to paste that in there doesn't work. This is the proper 
Google uh, plugin, or not so much plugin, but the the actual full widget that's in here now, rendering from Google. So then Google realizes this, you're doing the correct way. So you get the kudos from Google. And of course, it looks great for your, uh, you know, for your customers. They can go back to there, they can follow, they can share it, all sorts of things. So I highly recommend get some social proof going. And, you know, this will help like everything else in our optimization of our Google Plus local campaign. Okay. Hope that helps. I know there's a couple of technical things in there, but get help if you need it. But otherwise, it's fairly straightforward. Okay, thanks for watching. I'm Andy Kelly.